Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 with some more racing. And of course, we have the unusual start line. What are we doing? Are we doing a conga line in the pit lane? Uh, you know what? I can join in the conga line in the pit lane. I think I can join in the conga line in the pit lane. It's a little bit of a... <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to drive in the pit lane this way around. That's fine. We're going for a pit lane start. Uh, oh, there is stop sticks. I feel like... I think, no, 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 that's just a curb. Ignore me entirely. There we go. We'll go for, we'll go for a proper pit lane start. There have been some boxing in. I think they're stopping Chris doing a jump start up ahead by completely boxing the car in. Oh, he still snuck around. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, you yeah, know, it was a stop stick. Never mind. Well, that's not quite gone to plan. Uh, <laughs> There was one green car and snuck away to the other side. I mean, it has made for a calmer race start. This is spread us out the well. No, let's go. Take it back. Ignore me entirely. We still managed to bulls that one up. Now, the <laughs> this track is fast. I mean, this track is very fast. It's a fast, flowing circuit where things can probably will go a little bit spectacularly wrong at times. These curbs here are something that are going to cause such an issue. Uh, there's a braking zone up here that is very, very nasty. You've really got to get the brakes nice and early. Make sure you get it stopped. You don't really see the corner. Now, if you've got a lot of... I just found out. I just saw in the background there. Someone struggled to make that one work. Uh, I suspect, Joe, the matter of fact, we found them on row. That might have been karma. We sadly didn't get to watch the karma uh, take place in uh, this particular one for the attempted jump start. It wasn't a very good jump start. You know, all of that. The boxing in worked quite well. Uh, yeah. That's yell. This is what I mean by fast. Fast, quite dangerous corners. Very good fun. A very different sort of circuit. It is tough to overtake on a track like this. Just because, well, there's not that much in the way of braking zones. Overtakes may well come a little bit more. Well, I say they'll come from slipstream. Might come from mistakes as well. If you run wide, if you clonk a wall somewhere, that's where you're going to lose a fair chunk of time. Potentially, uh, how brave... This is a real, like, bravery test. How much do you trust the car? This corner up here is a horribly mean one. I love it in terms of it's a brilliant corner. But... It's also terrifying, very easy to get wrong and lose a lot of time. We're going to slipstream past the cockette. Now, we want to work together with cars here. Ultimately, at this stage of the race, we had we were quite far back from the start line and we got involved in the shenanigans. So I want to work together with the cars. I think I'm Ninetales for some reason. It is Ninetales. I don't have the names over players turned on. I must have forgot from filming some I've learned a while ago. So, <laughs> been a while since I played GTA 5. If I'm honest, we may be a little rusty. We'll see how it goes. Uh, can we get... Uh, we're going to get a draft, but we're going to be sat. We're going to get a draft in a really awkward place. It wasn't really in a good enough place for a draft. Uh, no. We're just going to back off a little bit early through here, because that's another one of those horrible, horrible corners. Oh, as is that one. <laughs> Nine tails overdrive a little bit on the way in. Now we have got catch up turned on. We have got slipstream, of course, turned on. Uh, so that we can have a little bit of fun with the start line. And so you go, you get a little sort of secondary chance. I think Nine Tails tried to curb boost, pinged off the wall, and that all went horribly, horribly wrong through there. Uh, right, okay, so the lead four are all together. I'm intending on coming to join into this lead four group. I really, really attacked the curbs there. Christ. That's about the limit. I would go as far as to say there, that is the limit of what I can get away with in that car as far as two-wheeled antics go, uh, and as far as testing my luck goes with the two-wheeled antics. I'm just going to go the brakes a little early, uh, owing to the likelihood of a massive slipstream pull in an awkward place. Uh, Liam, I think, has got... Whoa! has got very brave with the BMW in this car. I don't know how quick that is really in relation to Zion Classic, I think. Uh, in relation to the rest of these, the Casco is... A car I went for is generally a fairly good choice. Um, we normally do one-make races, uh, however the selection of vehicles that were chosen for this kind of removes a lot of the crazy OP sports classic stuff so we can have some variety. Variety is always good. Uh, we're gonna... Oh god, bobble our way, bounce our way down there. Hmm. We kind of want the Monroe to work. We want to work together, really, with the Monroe. Try and drag ourselves up to that group. When you've got no slipstream at all, on a track like this, it's a little bit, uh, oh god, daunting, perhaps. Can run a smidge wide. We just need some, we need some longer straights. Let the catch up do its work. And we should be able to join in the fun. Unfortunately, yeah, just for a little while, we might be stuck in no man's land. I mean, this is, of all the circuits, we'll be stuck in no man's land. This one here is quite good. 
mostly because it means you can take the line you want from some very fast, very dangerous corners. Uh, what have we got behind? Ah, the Coquette of Ninetales is coming to join, he's coming to catch up. We are to the lead group. I just a little lift around there, I wasn't quite sure how much grip I was going to have in the car. We are actually now going to go and take the lead away from all of them. The run to the start-finish line here is... I mean, it's, it's a long enough run that Slipstream is going to be important. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we can kind of use this as a test to see how far away you you need to be. We have got these sort of turns here to deal with beforehand. You can kind of be a little bit cheeky, but you're going to probably want some slipstream before the start finish line. It's going to be oh, it's going to be a tough one. If it's one v one, then yes, you are probably wanting to be the second car out of the oh, heading towards the start finish line because you do have enough time to get the slipstream pass. But when there's three, four, five cars bunched together, it's a lot more difficult to try and position yourself. Uh, also, if you are the second car, but you're too close to the car ahead, you don't get any slipstream, so it's all you're very minimal. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I saw what was going on. I could just, just manage to avoid the car having a big, big moment. Uh, we've actually still got a good run on the exit here. Nowhere to really go, though, for all of that. We'll get back into line into the tunnel. Oh, <laughs> quite realised there was a car that close. Ninetales shoots through the gap. Uh, there's the Coquette will take the lead. So we've got three different cars in the top four. There's only a couple of uh, cascades. I don't know what it's like further back in all of this. Uh, there was a Monroe around the place. There was the Visioni somewhere around as well that was running quite well at the start. You may well see them recovering. Oh, that's a huge slide. Liam's around the outside. Visca probably uh, had a minor heart attack there because he was also heading towards the outside of a very oversteering casco. <laughs> now... I mean, I don't want to end up in the, uh, oh, there's a, there's a little, I'm going to say little tangle, quite a high-speed tangle. Uh, oh, Liam has now bopped the wall on the inside. Uh, we are going to have a better run. That will be us back to the lead in all of that one. Oh, it's a Sterling has actually come through all of that in uh, <laughs> position. Well, that's going to be, uh, we got back to a three-car battle. Doesn't really last as a, as a two-car battle here. I mean, there's a big gap behind the Sterling, although, who knows, things are going to change. We've still got, still got one more lap to go. Still got one more time around this circuit. It is a great fun, you know, I've said many times before, the sign of a great circuit is a track that's fun to race in. You know, there is overtaking spots around here. Uh, fun to drive around on your own as well. This circuit is very, very good for that. Uh, the high-speed corners. I, I do really much like that. We, as I said, we do tend to have not quite this faster a circuit. Uh, I mean, this circuit, as you've already seen, is quite dangerous in places. Very easy for there to be a big shunt. But it's very rewarding. It's one of those things, it's great when you get it right. Fantastic when you get it right. Oh, see, that is when you get the slipstream run wrong. That is when you get a slipstream run too soon, basically. Uh, we end up just in the back of the Zion, but we don't have the grip quite to uh, sort of pull out of the draft sooner. Oh, I wanted to go for that overtake, but <laughs> that's all. I say that's a dicey one. I had the momentum, I had the speed in the car, but just so quick through that chicane section that trying to make anything happen is always going to be tough. Oh, okay, probably should have bobbled that. Okay, Liam is going to go to the inside, that's fine. We'll duck back into the draft. Looks like it's going to be us three for the lead, as long as we don't wipe each other out. Okay, we're going a little bit wide. We are going to get a better exit here. Although, no, you see, we can fight it around. Oh, well, we can try and fight it around there. <laughs> no. Oh. I, I haven't missed GTA 5 pissing collisions where you breathe on a corner of the car and it just instantly turns you 90 degrees. Ah, so annoying. Yeah, I didn't realise there was a car across the, to the inside of me until literally the last second. Oh, we were looking for a really good battle to the finish there. And nope, just the tiniest, the tiniest little, little nudge. And it just snaps. Well, I say it snaps, actually. You can look at this away, uh, the steering. There, crash enhancement bollocks uh, yanks your steering to a direction. What the hell did I just hit? Oh, what did my car slow down? I feel like I hit a stop stick. It might have been a bit of foliage, I think, perhaps slightly under the track. Just lost all momentum for no good reason. Oh, this race has gone terribly wrong at the death. That's a disappointment. That's a really, really good fun track. Um, sadly, it has uh, all gone a little bit wrong with an incident in a tunnel. I mean, there is... Is there hope? I mean, if there's enough catch-up fighting going on up ahead, and me and Ewan can work really well together. In fact, Liam 
Liam's hadn't had a great final lap either. Uh, but this relies on... Ah, it's not going to be enough. We could give each other some slipstream. We could catch what we need. We need like an entire lap, or at least three quarters of a lap. But instead what we've got is a few corners. See, we could slingshot past Liam, but it won't slingshot me into the group ahead. And there is, yeah, not enough corners to do anything about it. We're going to bounce off the wall. Hit that pretty hard. Bounce on the other one as well. Yeah. <laughs> I threw it at the corner. It was a case of I had to carry every little bit of speed if there was to be any hope. Uh, there has been some pinging from the cars ahead. Liam is going to get past. Nothing I can do about it. I could, I could chase him across the track the other side. He would just go, like, whichever way I went there, he was going to get past. I was hoping I could duck out or like, pull him out of the draft, but not well enough. Um, there we go. There we go, there's an upside down car doing a little bit of a dance. Ah, sixth place. I mean, it could have been, you know, overall could have been worse finishing position. Slightly disappointed. Uh, it could have been, could have been more. A very, very fun circuit, nevertheless, though. So, for our second race, we have got some muscle cars. A selection of uh, slightly different muscle cars are going racing. Now, the click is still pretty bloody fast. Uh, as far as the muscle cars go, there's a few of the uh, pickup trucks around the place as well. Uh, a little, a little further back. Uh, ooh, careful now. Uh, that might be a bit iffy. Oh yeah, definitely going to be a little bit iffy with the curbs. Going to have to be mindful of uh, of them ones. Uh, ah, we we're at that place where we were too close for a particularly good drop. We will probably still get past, although not very convincingly. And someone further back is going to get much bigger runs than I am. Right, that's that's okay. We'll duck back into line behind this lot. Now, if I remember right, if you click, you have to be a little bit careful with on the curbs. Just a little, a little bit oh, mindful with the old curb boosting. Uh, that corner with some uh, slipstream has, has caught cars out. Whoa! <laughs> I've suddenly got some speed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that speed came from. Like, uh, sure, that, oh, that speed over the leader makes sense, of course, with catch up and turned on and everything. However, that speed over the car ahead of me when both got dropped, I don't know, who knows. Maybe there's a bump in the road back to the sort of curb boost somehow for my car. Uh, I wasn't surprised to see the Hellfire uh, doing well. I'm glad to see it doing well. Oh, that's not what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> someone was going to hit that building. <laughs> it's almost a guarantee someone was going to hit that building eventually. And we got it on camera. They happen to be almost alongside us, basically. Oh, slow down. And we will try... Not quite sneak our way past. We're going to get stuck with no slipstream. That's the problem. So the grey car's got no room, but has slipstream. The purple car has room, but was being affected by catch-up. It's now sorted itself out a little bit. And, oh yeah, I had no slipstream. But no catch up. Regardless, oh, the Hellfires are there's a couple of them actually not doing too terribly, which is good to see. We're gonna squeeze past bloody hell. That was a bump. That was more of a bump there than I expected, or was quite ready for. Thought we'd just sneak the car past. That's gonna have a good run there. We will duck back into line. Uh, let's try the outside here. Mm, three wide, almost a point there. I'm going to go a little bit more care. I'm not 100% sure what the levels of grip are going to be like in this car. Uh, well, I mean, that didn't help. <laughs> we were doing so well. Things had been going relatively well for us. Uh, we are going to get ourselves at least to uh, fifth position for the end of this first lap. It could have been worse. Uh, Glister has recovered from being put in the wall at turn whatever. The big nasty braking zone. So that's good. Uh, we are going to almost get alongside the red car. It's going to really struggle to make that. I'm going to try and give it as much space as I can. So I, I ran in very deep through one of those bits that kind of forced it to change its mind. Uh, or had to force it to, to take avoiding action almost. So there yeah, we will give it plenty of space. Now we're going to have the big slipstream fest up the hill. It's a massive toe for the orange car. Yeah, <laughs> it's a huge toe. On the brakes we go for the... Uh, Nasty hairpin. A little bit of bumping and shunting further back. Let's not get tangled up in the tunnel this time around. Uh, the Hellfire can have a big run. That's fine. I'm still kind of surprised. I was expecting this to be dominated by the clicks and the Yosemite's, uh, but turns out the uh, Hellfire is actually not too bad at all. <laughs> the click does look very small next to it and doesn't look like it's a very, very effective push car. Uh, however, oh, careful now. So good, don't lose the back end through here. These have got more grip than I'm expecting them to have in some ways, which is kind of cool. 
As I said, these are pretty damn fast muscle cars in general. Oh. I was trying to move over that way to let you go around the... I was trying to move over that way to defend and it just kept going. And when I realised they, they were going to go to the inside, I tried to give them space in time, but not quite. And I, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, uh, yeah, I was fully expecting not to want to go and play with the thing. I can't look forward and backwards at all possible times. We were going to get caught up. Slipstream is going to catch up. In fact, there's already two cars behind me. We are going to be an injury battle. I hope the hell in fact the Hellfire's not actually lost too much in all of that anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. I, yeah, I do apologize. It's a completely honest mistake, miscommunication, but never mind. Uh, again, this is why we have catch up left on, you know, so things like that aren't ridiculously punished. Uh, makes for more, more fun racing. We're going to go, sure, let's go three wide. Let's go five wide if those two behind decide to join. Some cars are going to fire up the inside here. I can already sense that one. We're going to give space. Uh, oh, I hate being on the outside through there because if someone gets oversteer at the wrong moment, you're in just a world of trouble here. Oh, I think we climbed over the back of the red car. We, we almost made the red car do a little bit of a wheelie there. Uh, we've got an epic run going on here. Uh, could that, I mean that... <laughs> it's again, it's that game you play where you're trying to figure out what you need to do for that final lap, where you'd need to be on that final lap. And yeah, where I was there was very good. Now, I love that first set of chicanes. However, they are horrifically dangerous. Uh, as we've seen by the fact that group, our group was all together when we crossed the start-finish line. Running into there, our group is not all together oh, by the time we come out the other side. It's a great set of corners. However dangerous to say that. I'm not sure where the green cars go. The green car got lost. Uh, <laughs> we got James May with us, perhaps? That's an unusual line through all of that. Uh, and might just get the drive. Yeah, we're a little bit of slipstream. And get the drive. We will get past as we head into the tunnel now. Uh, can we... Uh, where's the... I've got no... Ooh, I've got no slipstream myself. God damn, we had a really good run into the tunnel and then all the draft just went as we got too close and the green car actually got the pair of us. Maybe it was clever tack. Who knows? <laughs> Sometimes I think the draft just decides it doesn't want to work, but, you know, that is that is what it is. It'll be as, again, carry as much speed as we can, be as brave as we dare. Now, we are to the inside here. Grey car is going to have a look. Uh, for a second, I thought that was going to hit the building as well. <laughs> Thankfully not. Thankfully not. We can be flat through here. Oh, thought about it. Changed my mind when we were started bouncing. But we're going to make contact. I think there might be a little brush on the door. Thankfully not too much to unsettle that car. Are we going to have anyone catch us for the final lap? That is the question. I mean, the more we fight three wide, this is probably not the best idea. There's a huge group of cars behind. <laughs> Either we're going to remain as a three-car battle for the lead. Might happen. I don't think it is, though, because there's too many straights here uh, and catch up. In fact, Scotty has fallen. I presume it's Scotty anyway. I don't know. It is Scotty. Yeah. Has fallen back into... I say it's fallen back to leading that group. Which means they're going to now be getting slipstream and they can work together. Me and Chris are going to work as much as we can here just to try and get away. Uh, so I'm happy to let the car past. Oh, although I didn't quite fire far, far enough alongside to make that uh, to make that work. Yeah, now, this is definitely not what we wanted. I'm actually going to just take a slightly different line to let the car through so that I can then get a run in the draft. We can hopefully... Oh, there's a little curb boost from the grey car that kept it ahead of me there for a moment. Yeah, no, it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna be enough. We're gonna have about a seven car battle for the lead by the end of this race. Now I am gonna lead at least into the chicane so I don't have to deal with the effects of following a group of cars where if one crashes they all crash. That red car, whoever that is, had a huge two wheel moment and is still crashing in the background. Uh, <laughs> so it's down to maybe the four of us. Depends on if the car ah. Oh. We've all got to a point where no one's got any slipstream and I can't even go for a curb because we're completely boxed in in the centre there. Purple car shot to the lead with that hellfire. Now we're going to once again get the... Oh, that's a that's not a three-wide place on the track, but we made it a three-wide place on the track. How the hell did we get away with that? The leader is now loving it. I think it's Hyper. Uh, no, it's Liam. Liam's driving the purple car. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> Liam is leading the way with that hellfire. None of us have got any slipstream. We've completely beans this up a little bit back here. Oh, don't have the battle of the clicks and let... Oh, the hellfire's hit the wall. The hellfire's scuppered itself a bit in all of that. Uh, well, as much as we were trying our best to uh, mess up our own race a little bit... Oh, that's a huge shunt going on behind. That... <laughs> 
I, the, the high speed quarters have got the better of that group. It was going up, it was looking like it could be a fantastic final lap showdown. A massive, massive accident has befallen the cars behind. And I mean, I, I think we should just throw a red flag now and call the race there. I'm happy with that as an outcome. Because I'm about to get murdered by catch up uh, <laughs> down towards these next corners because I've got no slipstream buddies whatsoever. And yeah, that will be fun. They are going to catch me as well. They will get me before. There's Longbow and Ewan are coming to join us. I think it might be uh, it might be Nine Tails and no, a Danger Man in fourth. So yeah, they're gonna uh, they're gonna get slipstream before. Yeah, they're gonna get slipstream before we get off the motorway. I should think. Here comes Danger Man. I, it's just nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I can do. Now the plus point is I will probably have slipstream now going towards the start finish line, which might be a good thing, rather than them catching me later and having nothing left to defend with down towards the uh, actual start finish line so don't make any mistakes here is going to be the trick if we can get past longbow here that would be very very helpful i don't really want to be too wide running up towards this section i think i'm too far back yeah danger man's gonna get it we might get second in the end we were just too far back Ooh. <laughs> it's a good race that was a good race there were some good battles some very good battles in that one. I think it was all clicks at the front of that. Uh, not necessarily through outright pace. There should have been one of the Hellfires, to be perfectly fair. Uh, yeah, the Gauntlet should have been up there. Uh, Brazen got the fastest lap with the uh, Pierce Wattle Dominator. Nice Hells was actually the highest non-placed, uh, highest placed non-click, sorry, in that race. But there were other competitive cars going on in that. Gliska was very unlucky with that. Uh, Yosemite saw that got in trouble a couple of times early on. Ah, there we go. Fantastic track. I really like that track. A lovely, fast, flowing, swooping circuit uh, built by a uh, trolled by 1337. Uh, lovely track. Can cause some massive crashes, as we have seen. Some interesting cars, some a little bit different racing uh, is always good fun. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.